it's very inspirational knowing that previous teams um, have had such success with their cars. UH Racing started back in 1997 uh, with the UH1 car. Obviously the resources they had at the time were very different but a lot of their designs have fundamentally uh, been carried over through the years and we develop and refine them and, and that's what's on the car today. We wouldn't be who we are without them. All that hard work that they put in has helped us here today. We're currently working on UH20, University's 24th car, and we're really looking to build on some of the strengths and the positives we've come out from the last, you know, four or five years of cars. And the team this year has really allowed us to do that with so many varied strengths uh, throughout the cohort. We've really managed to push the boundaries this year and try things we've not perhaps done before and it should really result in a fantastic finish at competition. And we're now at the stage where we're basically a really close-knit family. And we're able to just generally really get on with each other when you know, you're put under pressure, you can really rely on those people. And it's just fantastic. Everyone brings in their own ideas and their own innovations. Looking to the future for the team, we're hoping to increase power um, as well as making the car as lightweight as possible. Introducing turbocharging and high compression engines as well as moving towards a full carbon fibre monocoque chassis in the future. There's so many options and possibilities that come from being part of the team. We get to design the car, we get to build the car. So you're not just designing something pen on paper, you see it in reality and you see it on track. And it's, it's a very proud moment. It's a feeling that you don't get anywhere else. Second place would never be good enough for us. We want to win, we want to be the top UK university, we want to be top in the world.